The shoguns held most of the responsibilities in feudal Japan, as well as the most rights. Regular citizens living in feudal Japan like many responsibilities and rights. Japanese feudalism began during the Kamakura era in 1192 CE. Emperors in feudal Japan were governed by shoguns who held strong military powers. Three families held the most dominance in feudal Japan. These were the Yorimoto, Ashikaga, also known as the Muromachi, and Togawa family. Shoguns were also known as the Daimyo, whose names means a great name. Shoguns also holds the meaning as the great general who quells the barbarians. They were the feudal landholders of Japan. In 1192, Yoritomo Minamoto became the first shogun marking the start of feudal Japan. He became one of the most powerful rulers of Japan during the time. From 1192 to 1867, Japan was ruled by many powerful armies led by shoguns. Shoguns had many emperors under their power who had honor and fame, but never as much as power as the shoguns did. Shoguns held most of their power and responsibility by having armies called the Samurai. The Samurai were also known as a class of warriors who protected the land and fought for new territory. Samurai also had their own social class. Shoguns held the responsibility for controlling the people that lived on their land. They controlled the emperor because they were the ones with the most military strength. Yoritomo, who was the first shogun, created the Bushido to control his samurai. The Bushido was a code of conduct that displayed how you should always be loyal. If they were defeated during a battle, they would perform belly cutting, which was a method of suicide. About 300 years ago, Shoguns made a law called the Isolation Decree, which prevented any Japanese citizen from leaving the country. They also didn't allow anyone to enter the country. Their reason were to prevent Christianity to enter the country, which would let the people not to focus on Japanese culture. The Shoguns and Emperor organized social classes from farmers, artisans, merchants, priests, and monks. Samurai were the ones who rode horses, carried swords, and had last names. People who were wealthy were merchants and artisans. Farmers and peasants worked in farms. Everyone was required to pay taxes to the shoguns and emperors. Shoguns were also responsible for governing the economy. Shoguns allowed the most trusted daimyo to supervise small pieces of the land. In return, they would agree to fight for them. Shoguns also collected taxes from the people working in the farms. Working people were mostly in charge of earning money for the shoguns. A major source of wealth in the country came from working people selling rice as the main crop. Trade increased during the Ashikaga period from 1336 to 1568. This led the growth of towns and ports in feudal Japan. During the ruling of the Tokugawa family, feudal Japan experienced a large period of wealth from its thriving economy and peace. Samurai during the time of peace became servants with had good pay and jobs. But in June 21st, 1582, Oda Nobunaga, which was a dictator, overthrew the Chicago family, ending feudal Japan, and unified the country.